Her name is on everything. Justine Jones. Justine Jones. She was your locum. In a prime position to spy. What's a bit of sticky little fingers were all over this when she pitched to medical? And what's the bit she only took the job to see what she could find out? Are we done here? Did she ever ask to see any of the medical paperwork? No. Did she use a photocopier? How would I know? Did she get near accounts? Do I look like a private investigator? She screwed us. You were here, I wasn't. Excuse me for trying to piece it together. Look, I kept my head down. Had no idea what she was cooking, okay? Okay. Besides, isn't this all a bit late? The rhinoplastic guy's waiting. Breaking for lunch? Snowed under. Oh, come on. Game of squash? And jet lag. Right, I'll do you good. I don't know. Or you don't want to be seen losing to an Australian. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Or are you too old to play squash now that you're 40? You couldn't hack the pace. Oh, really? Prove it. Ambo bag. Half an hour. Judy, this is the crew from New Zealand Sapphire. Doesn't she look amazing? Could we grab a few shots in here? How long will it take? In and out, you'll hardly know we're here. As long as my work is interrupted. As quick as we can. OK, what should I do? Whatever you're doing here. Filing, nothing glamorous. Oh, how about you do some filing and tell me about your management style? OK. Well, I want all my nurses to feel included, like they've got their own voice. I guess you could call it laissez-faire management. Or in your case, sweetie, a laissez-faire management. <laughs> Perfect. How about plans for your department? Ambitions, initiatives? Well, we just got the go-ahead for a new resource room. Why don't you move over to that whiteboard now? Resource room? Yeah, it's like a research area for staff. Was that your idea? Well, yes, if you could just leave things as you found them. Sorry. How's it looking? Camera loves her. Really? Not too stunned mullet? Total natural. Total fox. Yeah. Honey. No, no, I'm right. What happened? He tore some ligaments. Oh, is it is it like serious? Like for long term? Nah, he should be okay if he takes it easy. Looks like it's totally rocked him. Yeah, it's not just that though. Scarlet. Hmm, yeah, I know she hasn't called yet. No text, no email, no nothing. And then I go off my nut at him. It's the last thing he needs. I hope she doesn't break up with him. Yeah, same, but there's nothing we can do, though. We just have to be there for him. Maybe I should take some time off work. No, you've taken off heaps already. Well, how about I get Jimmy around then? No, not him. What, just hanging out? The last time they were just hanging out, the cops brought him home. No way. <sighs> well, we'll think of something. Pretend it's been a long, tough day, but you've had a total victory. Saved a life or something. I want you to look straight down the barrel and give me that pride in your eyes. Okay, and now you've just found out you've won a prize for best filing. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, that's us. Thanks, team. Kathy, do you think that we've got time for just one quick photo of us together? Oh, it's okay. Let's see why not. Fiona? Because we haven't got any professional photos of us together, babe. Oh, okay, um, lip gloss alert. How long have you two been together? Uh, two years. Um, two and a half years. <laughs> and you're getting cupped? Yep. Yeah. Valentine's Day, GCA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we're also going to have a baby together. Oh, congratulations, you big softies. <laughs> Maya, remember when the mag comes out, you'll be seen by all sorts of people. Yeah. Not just the gay girls. You'd be surprised who reads it. That's okay. Mine's used to fending off boys. Okay, now Charlie's Angels. <laughs> I was thinking more of bigots, fundies, the Serenity Church, those kind of people. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that. It's okay. Bit. I know what I'd do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, butch. <laughs> you don't want to share the limelight. <laughs> Thanks again, Ma. You've been great. Oh, careful, Kathy. She might not be able to get a big head out the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, who won? Chris. Sorry, what was that? Chris won his slave. <laughs> That's right. Only because I'm a lady. 
So a loser and a liar now, are we? It's your birthday. I had to go easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nearly killed me. <laughs> so, tonight... I thought we'd been through this. Well, why don't you meet me halfway? Yes, we'll hang out. Yes, it'll be low-key, but let's do it at coal trap. Nothing flash. Deal. And have a shower first. Hey, do you have to rush off? Stay for lunch. I've got to grab Harry. We've got things to do. Hey, you up for a drink tonight? No, I gotta work, uh, but not too late, so come around and have a feed. Oh, not if you and Mark are at each other, it's too ugly. No, 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 we're sweet now. Well, how's that? Just come over, all right? Something you need to see with your own eyes. I told you not to call me that here. <laughs> I got through all of my tasks, double quick. Uh, and let me guess, you're online. Of course. Mm, fast work. Well, someone asked about paresthesia. What, is this some kind of medical chat? Paresthesia, the plant, Ling Nong, flame vine. Oh. And someone asked about pruning, my trick, cut them hard back. It might seem brutal, but the winter foliage is exquisite. Gardengeeks.com, is it? Mm. You've got mail. <laughs> Already? High strawberry fields love your handle. Not what? Your nickname. Oh, I'm a keen gardener who grew up in the country too. Yeah, and I'm a crusty old man and he's pruning. Daughter of a dairy farmer. Even so, you know, it pays to be careful. It's a big bad cyber world out there. Oh, I'll have no bits about me. Don't you worry. After that nasty business with Kathy, I am on high alert. I'm glad to hear it. As you were. Oh yeah, it's Chris. The um the pitch document we sent Lucy Swinton. Did you ever print off a copy while I was away? You sure you didn't? No, 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 that's fine. Thank you. Now, I've spoken to Mr. Kent, the plastics consultant at North City Hospital. He is looking to place you as a registrar as soon as a vacancy comes up. Kent is a top-rate surgeon, and I've told him how lucky he'll be to have you. Thank you so much for organising that. Wow. You okay? Of course. You seem really edgy today. I shouldn't have had that fourth coffee. Thanks. Putting his...